I skill Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, me. My girl tuck in your belly. Loud and clear. I beg you tuck in you. I beg you tuck in you. Yeah, yeah, me. Why? So we tell them, girl. Eh? From you know your belly no bang. You know, so you look good in a your tongue. Yeah. Make your skin out. Your belly look clean. You know your fit for Vice magazine. Oh, you see? Oh, oh. Hi, I'm Jamie Hodgson, and this is Delicious. Hi, everybody. And we're here on Orange Street in Kingston, Jamaica. And since we've been here, we've been trying to explore dancehall culture, meeting all the DJs, going to a lot of parties and studios, and basically just trying to find out what's going on here right now. So check it and see what happens. But Jamaica is a place you can come and relax and all the vibes. Kingston is the heart of Jamaica. It's, it's a little bit subtle, it's rough. Jamaica is, is a lot of vibes and a lot of culture in Kingston. And I mean, I just have to know where to go and where not to go. My driver told me probably not to go out at night <laughs> if he didn't want to get like uh, in a confrontation or something. So we plan to probably keep it low key. About 99% of the tourists that come to Jamaica get picked up right from the airport and taken out to the resorts of Montego Bay. Why? Well, Kingston has a bad reputation for violence and its murder rates are off the charts. But contrary to all the warnings we had received in New York and all the warnings we received when we were in Kingston, when we went out at night, everyone was super nice and super happy to meet us. So just the white people have on my <laughs> There's not near to fear other than you know, just just normal life. I mean, if you're walking on certain streets in Brooklyn, you know, you shouldn't walk down that area, then you just keep your eyes and your ears about you. It's not like you're going to walk in the street and you're going to run into the Bloods and the Crips, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of it is, is certain areas, and a lot of it is just blown out of proportion. You know, the people live the music, and, and the music represents the culture, so that's why, you know, it is what it is. We grew up on the side of society where, where the realities are a little harsher, but... Dance and music is... It's Jamaican culture, it's Jamaican lifestyle, and it's Jamaican fashion put to rhythm. Basically, dancehall and, and, and reggae is like R&B and you have hip-hop. Two total different things. But somewhere in between, you know, parts cross. Dancehall's been called Jamaica's hip-hop because like hip-hop, it's got DJs and MCs. But from what we saw, it's more like punk rock. It's more punch in the face. DIY, recording in low-rent studios, playing it in house parties, playing it out on the street. And the reaction to it is a hell of a lot more punk than anything I've seen in a long time. It's the music that makes you dance and sweat. When, when, you, when you hear a dance hall, you, you have to move. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a feeling. It's like almost a spiritual connection with the music. Anybody that hear dance hall music, you have to move. Fashion, glamour, love, life. The liberty of the youths naturally as how they would express themselves and how they live. Because here is the, like the headquarters, the studios, the, the major sound system, most of the artists is from Kingston. This is where it's at, Kingston, Jamaica. You know, that's where dance is at. Vibe, vibe music. We, we sing and we play what we live, what we see in the street. If you come to Jamaica, you got, you're going to see what you hear in our song.